that is discuss about ionic crystals ionic crystals made up of positive and negative ions okay uh, for example sodium chloride na plus ion and cl minus ion uh, together form sodium chloride okay an ionic bond result from electrostatic interaction of oppositely charged ions this is the positive charge this has net positive charge and this has net negative charge so this will attract due to electrostatic interaction okay and if i keep one na plus here na plus here and uh, cl minus here uh, at a particular distance apart this will feel that this feel that this is a net this is one point positive charge and this feels that this is one point negative charge so that will get attract and if i bring this charges together this ions together this cl minus ion uh, there are many electrons here there are many electrons here uh, there are many electrons here and here also there are electrons okay this electrons will get repelled if we bring cross together so there will be a repulsive force repulsive energy also okay and uh, long range interaction between ions with the uh, charge plus or minus q is electrostatic interaction electrostatic interaction so if we are considering considering two positive charges two positive ions then there will be uh, there will be a repulsive interaction that is u is equal to plus q square over 4 pi epsilon 0 r and if we consider uh, the ions like nacl this has a positive charge and this has a negative charge so the interaction energy is u is equal to negative q square over 4 pi epsilon 0 r where r is the distance between this two uh, this two ions okay distance between this two ions <coughs> and uh, for a positive sign represents same charges and negative sign represents for unlike charges electrostatic binding energy in an ionic crystal is known as maitland energy in in ionic crystals the electrostatic binding energy is known as maitland energy and we will find out the maitland energy we will find out how much is the maitland energy or what is the maitland energy um, and uh, uij when we consider the interaction energy uij is the interaction energy between ions interaction energy between ions if we consider sodium here and chlorine ion here and uh, uij is interaction energy between ions and if we consider many ions this is sodium this is sodium this is chlorine this is sodium this is chlorine so interaction energy we need to consider if we take uh, this as the reference atom then uij if uh, this is j atom then uh, uij the interaction energy between this two atom is uij uij um uh, if this uh, j is taken as 1 then ui1 if this is taken as 2 then ui2 is the interaction energy between this atom and this atom if this is taken as 3 then ui3 is the interaction energy between this atom and this atom okay so in that way we can represent uij is the interaction energy between ions uh, this ions and this are ions okay uh, interaction energy of ith atom with other atoms interaction energy of ith atom with other atoms if we consider this is the ith atom this is the reference atom so interaction energy is sum of uh, the sum over sum over j uij sum over j uij uij is the interaction energy uh, between this um, uh, this atoms this is the interaction energy between this atom so uh, this and this the interaction energy there is an interaction energy between this and this atom there is an interaction energy between this and this atom so we need to add up together uh, to get the interaction energy of ith atom interaction energy of ith atom with other atoms okay and uh, uij uij can be represented as uij can be represented as lambda into e raised to rij over rho plus or minus q square over 4 pi epsilon 0 rij uh, here we mentioned the uh, the attractive or uh, the electrostatic energy the electrostatic interaction energy is q square plus or minus q square over 4 pi epsilon 0 r i j and here one term is there lambda e raised to minus r i j over rho for ionic crystals this is the repulsive energy this is the repulsive energy lambda e raised to minus r i j divided by rho is the repulsive energy where lambda is the strength of the strength of the interaction that means if the distance is taken distance between two atoms ideally we can consider as zero rij is the distance between two atoms so we can consider ideally rij is equal to zero at that time e raised to zero is one so uij is equal to lambda that is the maximum repulsive energy so lambda is known as the strength of repulsive interaction and rho is the uh, represented as the range of repulsive interaction okay that means uh, <coughs> if rij is equal to rho rij is equal to rho 
then e raised to minus 1 will come. So the lambda will reduce into e raised to minus 1 times, e raised to minus 1 th times. So rho is the range of the interaction energy, repulsive, uh, range of the repulsive interaction energy. So uh, if we consider this atom, this, this atom may not feel the repulsive force because it's far from this one, this far from this point. So this is, um, so uh, this is positive, this, this is negative charge, let's consider, oh, this is positive charge and this can be considered as positive charge. Uh, and uh, uh, the repulsive interaction, uh, repulsive interaction experience, this is the, uh, if the, the interaction energy between this atom and this atom represents this term Q squared by 4 epsilon so Rij. Uh, and um, uh, because this two atoms keep some distance apart, if we bring this close together, uh, for example, this atom, this atom, we need to consider this lambda, this term to lambda e raised to minus Rij, since uh, the electron clouds, electron clouds will be here, so that will repel, and that repulsive, uh, repulsive energy is um, represented by this term lambda e raised to minus Rij over rho, okay, rho is the range of the interaction, okay. So we need to consider a specific case in sodium chloride crystal u total is equal to n into ui where is where n is the number of molecules so if n is the number of molecules there will be two n number of ions okay uh, this is this is the one molecule and uh, two two ions are there so if n is the number of molecules two n is the number of ions and uh, when we are considering two n number of ions uh, and when we consider the interaction energy interaction energy the interaction energy need to count once, okay. Uh, uh, the interaction energy between this atom and this atom is equal to the interaction energy between this atom and this atom. So we need, we don't need to count twice. That's why we are considering 2n divided by 2 is n into ui, okay. And uh, the distance is, the distance is rij is equal to pij into r, where r is the nearest neighbor distance. So we are taking the distance between two atoms in terms of the nearest neighbor distance multiples of the nearest neighbor distance with an integer p i j okay so when we are considering this atom if we are cons if if you are taking this as the reference atom this is the nearest neighbor distance uh, r and this is the second nearest neighbor second nearest neighbor in that time we are taking the distance is 2 r and this is the third third nearest neighbor in that time we are taking uh, 3 r okay 3 r okay uh, so that's that's why here the term r i j is replaced with the p i j into r and u i j interaction energy is equal to lambda into u raised to minus r by rho minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon zero q square by r for nearest neighbors and plus or minus 1 over p i j q square by 4 pi epsilon zero r otherwise okay only for nearest neighbors uh, there is an action of uh, repulsive interaction there is an action of repulsive interaction due to the electron clouds due to the electron clouds okay when we consider the interaction energy between this atom and this atom there will be a repulsive force and when we consider this atom and this atom, there, there will not be any repulsive force since uh, these are far apart. Okay, so this will feel like a point charge, a Na plus is point charge, a point positive charge and a point, point positive charge. So there will be, uh, there will be an interaction energy due to, uh, there will be an interaction energy that is electrostatic interaction energy only. Okay, so for, for nearest neighbor only, the repulsive force acts, the repulsive energy is, uh, energy is acting. Okay. That is the term lambda e raised to minus r by rho, uh, r by rho taken here, okay. And the u total is equal to n into ui and n into uh, z lambda e raised to minus r by rho, where z is the number of nearest neighbors, number of nearest neighbors minus sum over j plus or minus 1 plus or minus over pij q square by 4 pi epsilon 0 r is the interaction energy between, uh, uh, interaction energy between uh, the reference atom and uh, j jth atoms okay jth atoms so when we consider this as the reference atom this is one atom the interaction energy between this and this will calculate this and this will calculate this and this will calculate so that term represents this one so that is equal to n into z into lambda e raised to minus r by rho minus alpha q square over 4 pi epsilon 0 r okay where alpha is equal to sum over j plus or minus plus or minus over PAJ plus or minus 1 over PAJ is known as Maitland constant. Okay, we will calculate the Maitland constant later for one dimensional case or a, a linear arrangement of atoms. 
and at equilibrium separation equilibrium separation du total divided by dr is equal to zero that means minimum energy and equilibrium uh, equilibrium separation um, it experience minimum energy because equilibrium separation is this one if this is na plus na plus and this is cl minus this is cl minus this is the equilibrium separation at r is equal to r naught is the equilibrium separation this will experience minimum interaction energy okay that means if we uh, keep this away if this keep keep away then there will be an attractive force and if we compress this one there will be a repulsive force in between at r is equal to r naught the energy is minimum that means du total divided by dr is equal to zero that means we need to differentiate this one this is the du total we need to differentiate that one that means differential n dui divided by dr we will get n into minus z lambda e raised to minus r by rho by rho plus n alpha q square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square and that is equal to 0 that can be equated to 0 okay and from that relation alpha q square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r square is equal to z lambda e raised to minus r by rho over uh, over rho okay and uh, this this can be taken as r naught this distance can be taken as r naught when du total divided by dr is equal to zero so r naught square e raised to minus r naught by rho from this relation uh, is equal to rho alpha q square divided by four pi epsilon zero z lambda we need to substitute this value in this equation in this equation so here uh, there is e raised to minus r by rho only so we need to multiply with an uh, multiply and divide with an r naught square so r naught square divided by r naught square e raised to minus r naught by lambda r naught by rho minus alpha q square by four pi epsilon zero r naught and we need to substitute uh, for uh, we need to substitute alpha rho alpha q square over four pi epsilon zero z alpha z lambda for r naught square e raised to minus al, r naught divided by rho so we will get that is equal to n into this term and finally that is equal to minus n alpha q square divided by 4 pi epsilon 0 r naught into 1 minus rho by r naught okay this term the first term minus n minus n alpha q square over 4 pi epsilon naught r naught r naught is the Maitland interaction energy that is the electrostatic energy this is the repulsive interaction uh, repulsive energy and this is the attractive energy uh, so n alpha minus n alpha q square for pi epsilon zero r zero is the electrostatic interaction energy is known as Maitland energy. Okay, Maitland energy. Maitland energy. Maitland energy. Okay. Okay. Uh, let us uh, evaluate the Maitland constant. Okay. Uh, for a linear array of positive and negative ions and alpha is defined as alpha is equal to sum over j plus or minus p i j here sign is there plus or minus and uh, the interaction of u total is equal to n into this term and this term okay this is the interaction energy interaction energy okay uh, for positive and negative ions for positive and negative ions there will be attractive interaction uh, so uh, minus sign should be there that means alpha should be positive for attractive interaction alpha should be positive okay and uh, we can write alpha over r is equal to uh, in terms of nearest neighbor distance sum over j plus or minus p i j r is equal to sum over j plus or minus r j r j is p i j into r r j is the distance of jth ion from the reference ion if you are considering this as the reference ion and uh, we can take any ion as jth ion so uh, the distance if we consider if we consider the interaction between these two atoms we need to consider this distance rj in terms of we can write pij into r in terms of near sniper distance okay and uh, uh, here we are taking the negative ion as the reference ion r is the distance between adjacent ions and we can calculate here in uh, linear array of atoms one dimensions uh, in one dimensional case uh, linear array of atoms alpha over r is equal to alpha over r alpha is the uh, Maitland constant alpha over r is equal to 2 into 2 into why we are taking 2 because the interaction energy between this atom and this atom uh, 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 okay uh, there are two there are two nearest neighbors this is one one of the nearest neighbor and this is the another nearest neighbor so when we are considering the interaction energy the interaction energy between this atom and this atom uh, this atom and this atom and this ion and this ion as well as this ion and this ion are equal so we, we can take 2 into 2 into the interaction energy between this ion and this ion is equal to the interaction energy between 
this and and this and so we can take two uh, we can take in we can take two into two into the interaction energy between the the interaction energy between this and this one so two into the distance is two into the distance is uh, plus plus okay uh, here we are considering the attractive here we are considering the attractive interaction so we need to take alpha as plus so one over plus one over r okay and then we consider another ion another ion this is a negative sign so there will be repulsive force repulsive so force so alpha should be considered as negative so negative one over the distance the distance is 2r plus 1 over 3r minus 1 over 4r etc okay and alpha is equal to 2 into 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 minus etc and the relation and the equation for ln 1 plus x is x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 etc and if we substitute 1 instead of x we can uh, we will get ln 1 plus 1 that is ln 2 ln 2 is equal to 1 minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 etc uh, so we can replace here with ln 2 so alpha is equal to 2 ln 2 is the value of Maitland length constant value of Maitland length constant okay so okay, look at this this is the energy versus separation graph if we uh, if we bring two atoms together bring two atoms together or if we separate this one if we separate this one the repulsive interaction the repulsive interaction will reduce repulsive this is the lambda e raised to minus r by rho graph um, uh, lambda this is the exponential decreasing so lambda e raised to minus r by rho uh, this look 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 like a hockey stick and uh, <coughs> if we uh, if we take this two atoms apart then minus q squared by 4 pi epsilon 0 or this electrostatic attractive energy will dominate and this will come close okay and if we come close if this two atoms come close lambda e raised to minus r by rho the interaction energy the repulsive interaction will dominate and uh, uh, this cannot bring too close uh, than the distance r naught okay so the minimum so the minimum energy is at the distance r naught if we uh, if we keep if we try to keep away this atoms this will attract if we uh, comp if we try to compress this atom this will repel so this is the minimum energy distance r not minimum energy distance r not these are the two uh, forces two energy this is the repulsive energy and this is the attractive energy and uh, together we can draw together we can draw a graph like this together we can draw a graph like this and this is the point of minimum energy minimum energy or equilibrium position okay